Hello and welcome to a Blender tutorial featuring the yellow submarine from Gryless.net. This tutorial will teach you how to model the submarine as well as teach you how to animate it. This is using Blender 2.68a. Let's get started. So this is our 3D scene. I'm going to uh, start uh, with an add-on called Screencast. Uh, it will display all the keys that I do that you can see in the lower left hand corner. Uh, I'm going to change it so the box is gone and it will be in text form. How do you activate this add-on is you go to file, go down to user preferences, go to add-ons, and down here it would say 3D view screencast keys. I will have it on for the tutorial but you will not need it to model the submarine. Now starting more is we're going to use the A key to deselect everything and then select everything. And I'm going to use the X key to delete everything in the scene that we have selected. I am also now going to put it in uh, orthographic mode, which you can see in the top left hand corner where it says user perspective. We want to say it or have it changed into user perspective orthographic mode. And how we change that is on your numpad, click 5. And it should say user ortho. So now that we have it in orthographic mode, we are going to click on the 3 numpad key. And this will take us into right orthographic. So this is the right viewpoint. And now we're going to go down to where it says uh, background images. We're going to click on the drop down, click on the box, and add an image. And we're going to click on open. And I have the, the yellow submarine picture already saved to my computer. You can get it from uh, grylis.net blender slash tutorials for the yellow submarine. And so with our image loaded up, you should see it in the right orthographic right here. If you do not see it, it probably means that you're not in orthographic mode. How to tell if you're in orthographic mode is, again, the upper left-hand corner. If you are in perspective mode, it will not show the image when you go into right perspective, front perspective, or any perspective. So make sure that you're in orthographic mode in order to see the image. So now with that away, I'm going to, uh, while in right ortho, go to shift A. We're going to add a mesh. We're going to add a circle mesh. And it uh, created it down here. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click X to delete the selected object, go back to right orthographic mode with the three num key, and we want this cursor right here in the middle. And that cursor, whenever we add an object, wherever that cursor is, where the object will be placed. So we want that cursor in the middle of our grid. So how to do that? We go to Shift S, and it says Snap. So we're going to snap the cursor to the grid. And we're also going to snap the cursor to center. So that should put our cursor right in the middle. And now when we do Shift A to create a mesh, and we're going to uh, create a circle mesh, it should create our circle mesh right in the middle. And so we're going to rotate the circle with the R key. So you can rotate it. But we want it more exact. So we're going to use the R key. And we're going to select it on the X axis. So I click the X key. And I'm going to click 90. And then enter. Alright, so remember. Uh, R to rotate it. X to constrain it to the X axis for the rotation. And then 90 degrees. And it should be uh, vertical to the picture. And so now we're just going to scale it up using the S key. And we're going to scale it up to be the same height as the submarine. And I'm now going to go and enter edit mode. Now there's two ways of entering edit mode. There's the tab key. And the tab key will is the short key to put you, yourself into edit mode and take you out of edit mode. The second way is to go down here near the bottom left hand corner where it says object mode. You click on it, and it brings you all these different options, and you will see as the second one, edit mode. 
And so those are the two ways, tab to get in and out of edit mode, or down here in this panel to get into edit or object mode. So we want to be in edit mode, so I'm just going to click tab. And we'll notice we see all these dots. These dots are the vertices, and we want to move the vertices over to create our submarine. And how we do that is we want to create more, so we click E, the E key, to extrude. And we don't want to just be flopping everywhere, so we want to constrain it to a certain axis. So we're going to click on the Y key, and this will constrain it to only the Y axis. And so we're going to move it over, and we notice that we can no longer see the background behind. And that's not a problem, but for the modeling, it would be nice to be able to see the reference image behind the model. So we're going to go and click the Z key. And what the Z key does, is it enters uh, a mode called wireframe. You can get into wireframe uh, using two methods, the short key, the Z, or down here by the object mode panel, you can click right here and it gives you many options. And then you can see the solid, which is by default, and the wireframe. So we're going to be in wireframe, so we can see our image behind the mesh. So what we're going to do again is we're just going to line it up with the submarine. So again, we're going to extrude, constrain it to the y-axis, and we're going to scale it down, and we're going to move the mesh down on the z-axis using the the directional arrows. So we just moved it down and it doesn't have to be perfect and match the submarine, just the general shape of the submarine. So again we're going to repeat y axis, scale it down, move it down, extrude, scale it on the y, scale it down a little bit, extrude, y axis, or constrain it to the y-axis and just repeat the process. So now that we're at the tip of the submarine, when you move around and get out of wireframe using again the Z key or down here in the material panel drop down or just click solid. So while in solid mode, we'll notice that our mesh is hollow and the tip has an opening right here. We don't want that tip to have that opening. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to side view and we are going to click E, I have to go into wireframe, of course, E to extrude, then we're going to extrude on the y-axis, and we're going to go over to, all the way left, to the mesh tools panel, and we're going to click under the remove, and we're going to click on the merge drop-down panel, and we're going to click on at center. And you should see that it collapsed the mesh right down into the center. Now, if you do not have this panel right here, it's you could bring it up using the T key. All right, so the T key brings up the left panel. The N key brings up the left panel. I mean, right panel, sorry. So, with that around, we are going to select the mesh on the other side. And I selected it using the box selection method. And that's by holding or clicking the B key and dragging it and whatever you have dragged inside that box will be selected. So with that, with these vertices selected we're going to do the same process that we did for the front but the back. So we're going to constrain it to the y-axis and just extrude it along the faces until we get to the general shape.
So I'm just going to select these vertices and move it up a little bit. Select these vertices with the box selection tool and just move them up. So now we have the basic shape of this submarine. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the back fins. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to click on the box key and select these vertices. And with these vertices selected, we're just going to move them back with the the green y axis arrow and we should see that we are now getting the basic shape so this is the end of part one continuing on to part two